so this is the disk you see I'm making a tutorial video for this as you can see there is a small slide switch here you just need to slide it across to activate the disk you can see there is a white LED on top of the disk which indicates that uh, the clock has not been set and I'll show you two later how to set the clock so press to see the fire effect So, it will not be exact location where you press, but a little bit somewhere nearby. So, we'll just uh, see the running mode. So, this is the default running mode. Press hard for the flash mode. So this is the flash mode. I'm going to double swing twice to switch it off. You have to make a swinging motion, not a up and down movement. It's a swinging motion to activate the running lights. Like this, and double swing to switch it off. So we'll just see uh, the colors available. So double press to go to the selection mode. And tilt to navigate through the menu. The first is to select the standard color. So select standard colors. Press to go to the sub menu and tilt. Tilt. So once you Got your selection. Set. Press to set and so I was just making a up and down motion. So just make a tilt to activate the disk. So this is how it is there. So next we'll go for the custom color selection. So double press to go to the selection mode. Select the Select standard colors. Standard colors. Select custom color. Custom color. Select custom color. So press to go to the custom mode selection. Main and tilt. I can select color for both links. So this is for both the links. Just press tilt. To navigate through the RGB, the RGB colors and uh, leave set. to set the color and come back out of the screen. So I have come out. So now I'll just activate the disk. Just select the color individually for both the links. Select color. Select standard colors. Select custom color. Select custom color. Select custom color. Press to go into the sub menu. Hard and select color for both rings. These are both rings. Hard and select color for outer light. So this is for the outer link. So hold, tilt, set, and leave. So this is for the inner light. Hold, tilt, set, and leave. So this color is set. Come back out of the menu and now this color. So next we'll look at the graphic equalizer mode. Select standard colors. Select custom color. Graphic equalizer mode. So this is the graphic equalizer mode. I'll just play some song. This, 
depending on the volume, the speakers, the distance you are from, the sensitivity varies. So you can hold and tilt to select the sensitivity while the song is playing to get the right sensitivity. Just go to the main menu. I'll just go back to the graphic plus mode again. to go to the next one. Next one. So sensitivity selection can be done in all the graphic equalizer modes. So we'll just do it here once again. So double press to go back to the clock mode. Select band. Select standard colors. Select custom color. Graphic equalizer up. Screen saver. Time setting. So we'll just see how to set the time. Time setting. Hold to set hour. So just hold to set hour. Once you hold the desk, there is a lady moving around, so you have to set according to your clock. So to confirm with the number. So the minute. So there is one volume setting for the speaker. So I'm entering the volume setting mode. So you can hold and tilt to set the volume. So just go back to the clock mode by tilting. So I have an uh, audio player mode. And so I'm not supplying with any songs as there are copyright issues. So there is a folder called 220 in the SD card inside. So I'll show it to you how to open and uh, 
take out the SD card in the next video. So in the folder number 20, you can add your own songs and uh, that is will play for you. I made a wrong tweet, sorry. Audio player mode. So I have a song playing here. Double click, double press to go back to the clock mode. Off. And that's it. So, still, if you have any doubts, you can just email me. I'll answer your questions. Thank you.